Let's start over. Oh, fuck. My chick just landed. Hang on, dude. Fuck. I gotta go to fucking... Okay, hang on. I gotta get her a lift. Hell yeah. My little setup right here. Alright. Testing, testing. Five o'clock right. on the dot. Let's go. Look what time we got. <sighs> Another horribly shitty day. If anyone is confused about what Poopies was talking about in that intro, his current chick was flying in to visit him on this particular day, and he promised her a ride from the airport. However, Poopies forgot he had this very important interview scheduled with his pal and mentor, Steve-O. He tried to reschedule the interview, but Steve-O is such a busy guy that there was no way we were going to let that happen. So, Poopies is seen here trying to track down an Uber for his lady from the airport. You all know Steve-O, you've all asked for him to be on a million goddamn fucking times, so here he is! Enjoy! I wish I never would have done that, because I got like put in like Grom status now. Put your hands together for Poopies! Once they see someone like me, they're like a movie star, they like don't want to like look at you or something, they like trip. The shittiest podcast in the world. Alright you guys, dude. Straight up. All right, you All guys. Right. Take that from the from there, okay? Okay. Boom. All right, you guys. My favorite friend, my favorite cast member, Steve-O from Jackass. Yeah, dude. Dude, you've been like freaking so requested on this podcast, dude. It was like, it's an honor to have you. Um, I'm excited to talk about life and talk about you and okay. see what see what's new. But yeah, anyways. So my podcast is the shittiest podcast ever. So I'm sorry, familiar. sorry if I like rant about stupid shit. Get me back on track. Okay. And um, yeah, we're here, Steve-O, What's what's the date today? Five or sorry, seven, seven twenty-two. One. Seven twenty-one. Today is the twenty-first. Oh yeah. July. What were you doing today? Seven twenty-one. Ten years ago. <laughs> or let's say, let's say, sorry, let's say. 20 years ago. 20 years ago was 2002. So in July of 2002, man, I, I, I think I was sitting in a jail cell. <laughs> no way. No, uh, dude. Maybe. Fuck. I definitely got arrested in July of 2002 with, with uh, multiple felony charges facing uh, eight years in prison. I, mean, I don't know if it was specifically uh, this day, but that was about what was. Yeah, going that's on the time that frame. About Damn. what was going on then? What yeah. were you doing to get arrested? And when when will this episode come out? This episode's gonna come out as soon as it can. I okay, so we're loading up. We're loading up eight. We only have five. As uh, we record this right now, tomorrow I will be publishing my ten craziest criminal arrests video fuck yes and uh it doesn't get much crazier than my um 2002 july 2002 arrest so it's a great question to start off yep with. yep yeah asking steve-o what he was doing on this day 20 years ago really worked out sometimes you get lucky actually i think poopies always gets lucky fuck yeah um yeah you've been killing on the youtube <sighs> I'm trying, man. I'm at a, a, a bi-weekly upload schedule. So that yeah, means uh, I put up a new a video. No, no. Is bi-weekly two a week or Is every other three? week? I think bi-weekly means every oh, other week. Oh, you skip week. one. Yeah. Okay, bi-weekly. I, I don't know. Though. I don't know. I think bi-weekly. Okay, that's a good question. But then again, I don't know. Maybe ah. maybe you're smarter than me. On <laughs> I'm some, not. Dude, I'm, I'm not smarter than you. I was just. I that's never, cool. I never thought. Well, like, I didn't even uh, think of skipping a week. Is bi-weekly twice a week or every other week? Because I, I didn't even think of skipping a week. I mean, who skips a week? Uh, you're trying to settle down. Okay. What? No, I'm joking. Bi-weekly. <laughs> yeah, Steve, he kills it on the YouTube. Bi-weekly, done, produced, or occurring every two weeks. Or twice a week. Whoa. So it's both? Bro, we're That's both, stupid. Dude, that is awesome. That's stupid. That we've, is stupid because it's confusing. We've, we've uncovered a real shortcoming. Damn. So if you guys put by weekly, make yeah. sure you put, um, we, we miss a week or two yeah, a day. Every, so I'm, I'm uploading every other week. Sick. And it's working well for me because um, I'm able to like 
for now at least, really put up bangers. Fuck yeah, that's what you were telling me, dude. Bangers only. I'm I mean, sorry. That's the thing. That the, and I've been like trying to come out with bangers, but the YouTube algorithm is is very picky. It it needs consistency and it needs like quality. Yeah, because you can rush it and it'll be shitty. So it's hard to do that though. What, do you, what do you know about that, dude? Fuck, I'm finally getting like oh right bangers, like almost bangers, but. We're still struggling a little bit. How did that water skiing out of the, the barrel work for you? Fuck. Everyone didn't want to watch it on YouTube. Everyone wanted me to post on uh, Instagram. So I finally leaked it on Instagram. And then let's see. I haven't even checked because I don't even want to know. But should have got two mil. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What, what should have got two mil? My water Where? ski barrel. On, on, on what? It should have got two mil. On YouTube. How many does your shark attack have? Uh, one one point six. That's the banger video. Yeah, so I gotta get by bit by sharks. More. Okay, you, you, <laughs> you want to? That's not what that means, though. Yeah, like can, can they're we, always can, like, oh, go off your most viewed videos. So let's go jump um, one shark. <laughs> can can we give me the credit for for making that? Fuck video? yes, yes we can. Yeah. Steve-O, dude, you guys, he is such a fucking legend and such a good friend. Before I talk about that, let's just talk about how you saved my jacket in the fucking ocean oh, right, right, okay. and gave it to me like a month or two months after it had even happened. The, the, like, the, poops, I got this for you, dude. Yeah. And it was the leather jacket, bro. I was like, no way you have it. He goes, yeah. And it was still yeah. like moldy from the ocean, Bahamas and shit. But let's talk about how Steve-O is such well, a legend. Well, here's the thing. When, when you got bitten by the shark. Bro, like, you had my like, dad. The whole... You handed me a camera and go film everything. Yeah. And I was trying to. And you didn't film shit. I didn't film shit, but I was hurting. Yeah. I was fucking in so much That's pain. what you needed to be filming. Um, I was the, so uh, COVID sucked because I was solo. I was the, solo too. I like, I tried to ask the nurse to film. She's like, no. I'm there, like, oh, they don't vlog. <laughs> there was um, a like, Discovery Channel guy, I think. Maybe it was a production company that Discovery Channel hired. But like the guy who was like, the boss in charge of that whole Shark Week episode and not Jeff Tremaine because Jeff Tremaine was sort of like- Yeah, uh, he's on our crew. Yeah, the, like the actual like yeah. Discovery yeah. side of things. This, this guy, you get bit. And, and you've just been taken off at the speedboat and this guy's like, dude, that's it. Like this is, this show's done. Like the shark week's going to be done forever. Like, oh my God. Like everyone was tripping. And, 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 and I had been like kind of emotionally shut down. I was just like, oh, like I just was really like, I know, dude, I didn't know what to do. Like, right. And, but, but then once I heard this guy say, oh dude, they're gonna, I'm like, and then I snapped out of it. I was like, wait a second. Yeah, and this is like while you're on your way to the hospital, it just happened. And I'm telling this guy, the only tragedy that can arise out of this is if that footage does not come out. Yeah. I said, like, I that said- That was a selfie from your phone. You cannot let Poopy have been bitten by a shark for nothing. Like, yeah, dude. let this- Imagine that. Let this footage come out. Imagine let, that. Let Poopies get the glory for this. The credit. And I think it stands to be like one of the best things that ever happened to him, if not the Fuck best. Yeah. You know, like that was Check where, yep. yeah. It's doing good, dude. Is, is it really? It's like been finger banging a lot. It's, uh, it's gonna be messed up forever though, right? Yeah. It's like getting worse and worse, I think. I just, it's hard to like not live my life and like not do fun shit. And like my fun shit is like skateboarding, surfing. Like I use my hand, my wrist a lot, you know? So it's like, dude. I mean, I'm so bummed, but I, as long as I can still surf, but like this swallow, I caught two waves, maybe like three, four waves, good ones before like, like, Fuck, I finally got out and then my hands hurting, kind of not hurting, but just like sore. I don't know. It's just weird feeling. Like, you know, if you push it too much, it's going to hurt even more. So it's like, so then I was like, okay, I'll catch two waves and go in. So it kind of, it's kind of limiting me now on surfing, which I was like, fuck. I, I didn't think it would, you know, but it's um, all good. I'm still catching sick waves though. That's in Hawaii on this like epic swell that just went down out oh, there. Oh, bro. I wish I was there. I was with uh, Steve. We'll do it. 
All right. Bro, we fucking, he, he rented a, a, an island. I came up with this idea. Let's um, just uh, wakeboard or like get towed behind a hel- helicopter. So he's like, fuck yeah, let's rent an island. Because you only could do it like if you Did you see island. what I just recently no, did dude, with the so helicopter? On the group message, yeah, that's what I seen. I was like, wait. Steve-O's fucking did it before me. I was like, fuck yeah. Well, I didn't water ski behind it, but uh, See, that's I, I, did all ki- I did all kinds of shit. Did you cock ski? Um, no, I don't even know what that is. But... No, I like, what were you doing? I, I, I started out on, on the roof of a house and the helicopter comes and drops a rope ladder and I grab it and it flies off with me. Shut the fuck the... up. I went fucking... Bro, how <laughs> sick does that feel? It's rad. Dude. It feels like you're a superhero. I did get I did get dragged in a in a lake while re, re, but only just to get me wet before they put me through the electrical wire. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah. When is this coming and out? And then uh, and then they What the fuck? Are you for real? Yeah. I, I you, showed you haven't you. said anything about this, huh? And then and then I drop off the rope ladder from the helicopter and land on the roof of my moving tour bus. Shut the fuck up. That's the opening sequence for uh, my bucket list show. I finally shut the fuck up. Yeah, dude. It's so it's an add on. That's well. That's how I get to the theater for the special. Shut the fuck yeah. up. That's your entrance. It's a, it's a, it's, a, when, a, it's a big expensive. And that's on sequence. every show now. Yeah, I mean that's how I start the show on the live shut like, on the my live show up. too. Yeah. Wow, I want to go see a show. Dude, yeah, here's the crazy. I've been to part. two, I think, or like actually, I've been to two, but I've been in. Four of them. Your yeah. Shows. Yeah, dude. Dude, I want to When's the last time that. you did stand up? Fuck. People been hitting me up. Dude, Shane Grillis. They, 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 yeah, Shane. I hung out with Shane Grillis. Okay. I like, I was um hanging out with this chick and she goes, Oh, my friends and I got tickets to this comedy show. I go, Oh, I, I think I know a couple people. So I like hit up Rachel and I was like, Hey, Rach, this chick's going to a comedy show and um, all the tickets are sold out. And I was seeing if I like, could go how do you go about going to these comedy shows if the tickets are sold out she goes what show is show is it and i and i uh screenshot sent it to her and then um she's like oh just dm him it's shane grillis i was like who's who's that there i looked at his instagram i go oh my god dude this guy's a legend so i dm'd him and he goes bro i'm a big because i was like bro i'm a big fan like seeing if uh i can get a ticket like it's all sold out and he's like, yeah, no worries, bro. I got you. How many? I go, well. I'm where, with... where was the show at? It was in um, Anaheim. Because I was in Long Beach hanging out with this chick. Yeah. And um, so he goes, yeah, cruise, cruise in. I got you. So uh, my friend, her friends were like fanatic fans. And I got them plus, I got a plus four for, for us. So those friends came with us too. And were they all s- chicks? It was one chick, which was my friend, uh, one dude and her uh, boyfriend. Who brought the dude? Um, the the girlfriend. So it was my my chick friend, her friend, and the boyfriend. Ah. Uh, so it was like he, you know. So it was kind of cool. It was like a double date. So Shane was like cool with you until you start bringing dudes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but they were super cool about it. This one chick was like trying to fanboy out and ask him tw- twenty million questions. I was like. Whoa, whoa, just chill. He's just trying to chill before a show. So, but it was cool. They're they rad. I just met him that night, dude. I'm like, Did you guys you, backstage uh, with me with Shane Grill. It's like, this is fucking crazy. And they're tripping too, because they're like, they I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's not Grillis. What is it? Gr- Grillis. I, th- I think it's just Gillis. Gillis? Oh, it's no R? Oh, Gillis. fuck. I get everyone's fucking name wrong, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. So, how did I'm it go? I'm sorry, Shane. Fuck. How did Gillis, it go Gillis. with uh, with the, the girl? It went good. Oh, yeah, it went good. Dude, like, yeah. Talk, talk to me. So I got a DM. That was right when the movie came out. Okay. And I finally got a DM from this chick. Like, it was a good profile pic. Like, big tits. Okay, but, but uh, what about the chick when we were on <laughs> tour? I like this one, yeah. Yeah, I had you on tour with me, and there mm-hmm. was the one night when it was just me and you on my tour bus, and that was it. And you're having this, like, super awkward conversation with this oh, girl. Oh, my gosh. And you're like, hey, I want to tell you something. You had her on speakerphone, too, so yeah. I, had to hear, I had to hear both sides of the conversation. Oh, my God, yeah. And you were like, funny. I want to tell you something, like, uh, you know, and you were just, like, kind of awkwardly working up to it, and then you were like, 
I love you. You know, like you were like dropping the the elbow. The elbow yeah. is strong too. Like I shouldn't have <laughs> used that. You uh, to, so, like, you, so you like awkward. I gotta tell you something, and then you're like, I love you, and she's like, you don't even know me, and it's, it was just like kind of awkward. But that was your girl at that time. Yeah, that was after the movie. Yeah, came, so is this the one that so DM'd it was after you? the movie came out, and I was in Encinitas. I was actually at my house. It was like 11 p.m. But the girl that you dropped the L bomb on was a different girl than the one that you're now seeing. I'm not like DM'd it's kind of like I'm not seeing that one either. I understand your confusion, Steve-O. We've been trying to keep track of Poopy's love life for about a year now. It's it's not worth the effort. This was like a month ago or so, a couple months ago. But yeah, I mean, like, that's hard, you know? Because they got to, like, handle me and then, like, deal with me. And I got to always show them affection and be there for them, you know? Which is what I'm supposed show to Show them? So you mean, like, you've got you've to, like, keep it up by, like... Be doing showing, my part. showing affection to like to all, them. all different girls. No, just them. Just them. Yeah, because it was my just, chick. Just the multiple girls that we're talking yes, about. Yes, yes. For sure. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, just them. Though, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So, it's so, been great. It's been so, great. So when you were telling the, the girl that you love her on yeah. the bus and that she was your girl, you were also... Uh, breaking my own heart you were also talking to this girl with no, the, the no. big boobs no so this girl with big boobs was like um a month ago okay but she was like drinking too much and just doing you know how chicks are they don't stop partying and i was like nope yeah i mean not, I not like, around poopies well it was, it was cool like on like one night and then like every time i see her she's all fucked up i'm like this ain't cool yeah, I mean, because, like, if I'm anybody, actually coming in, like, like not sober, but a couple beers, you know. Co- if anybody in, knows mellow. poopies, it's like, do not step out of line with with drugs yeah. or alcohol around poopies, because that's not the way he rolls. It, yeah, it is, actually, yeah. I've been, I've been doing good. Dude, so Steve will do it. I'm proud of myself. Dude, the boys were getting lit, dude. Bottles going down, and I fucking poured water into a champagne bottle and was drinking waters because I knew I didn't want to, I couldn't be that poopies. Yeah, you did I mean- So you, I did you, good. I freaking, I stopped myself from fucking getting blacked out. You uh, did something right because um, after all of that time that you spent with Steve Will Do It, he continued to say good things about you. I was yeah, like, wow, dude. man, I thought poopies would have worn out as welcome by now. No, I know. <laughs> I, I, I thought that too. I expected that uh, it was going to be like, oh, just get me through this time with poopies and let this video be successful because, God, he's making it so tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but no, bad, I wasn't bad, bad. that poopies, dude. Yeah, that's good. I was fucking stoked. I, I'm, I'm proud of you. Thanks, dude. Yeah, because every night, dude, I was so tired from the sun in Florida. It was so humid. And then like. I'd shower and like lay, we'd eat, lay down. I'm like, bro, there's no way I'm fucking going out. How long were you uh, hanging out with them? Dude, I could have hung out for a while, but I had to come back and see you. I mean, it was, like, it was like what? Like uh, like seven days a week. Seven days. Wow. Yeah, we kept, like I was only supposed to be there, I think for like four. Is his video of all that out yet? Comes no, it's to supposed take... to drop tomorrow. Oh, uh, Friday? But I haven't freaking, I texted him, hey, thanks for everything. Um, And then I never got a text back and I sent him, Excuse me. I sent him pictures of our, our helicopter stuff and I sent them to him and he never replied. Yeah, I mean. I mean, that's just, you know, I understand he's busy, but it's like, I don't know. His phone is uh, very, blowing up. His dude. phone is very busy. He's got it's two tough. phones. It's tough to keep I, up. Yeah, no, he's my boy, dude. We became good friends. Good. He's so cool, dude. He's so cool. And he's like, he was stoked that I came and show him the water sports thing again. Cause I got him like psyched for, or got him like stoked for the water sports thing. Yeah. So then he was like, dude, let's go to the cable park again. I was like, dude, I'm down. Let's go, bro. We went to the cable park. We went wake surfing with a lightning storm going down. It was That's pretty cool. nuts. He's like, yeah, I'll go wake surfing. I go, Steve, do you see the lightning? Do you see the boat in the water? That's a lightning rod right there. And he's like, oh, well, well, I think we'll be fine. Like, he wasn't saying much, dude. He was just down to do it. I was like, dude, you guys are gnarly. Okay, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Successfully got the clips on the wake surfing boat and didn't get um, electrocuted like you. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. I know it can be really difficult to manage your debt. 
especially when you're constantly receiving new offers for more credit cards or unsecured loans with huge interest rates. Instead of adding to your problem and creating more stress and cost, our friends at McCarthy Law can help. They truly care about helping you erase your debt and restoring your credit card so you can get your life back. To begin decreasing your debt and your stress, visit McCarthyLawyer.com slash podcast or call 1-866-777-0748 and provide promo code POOPIES, all capitals, to receive 50% off McCarthy's retainer fee. McCarthy Law isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. They're not one of the countless companies offering magic solutions that seem too good to be true. They're a real law firm, able to help you negotiate debt for a fraction of what you owe. To date, no creditor has refused to deal with McCarthy Lawyer. That's a huge advantage over other non-lawyer based companies. And maybe most importantly, McCarthy always seeks to charge less than anyone else in the industry, including non-lawyer debt settlement companies. And yes, they will price match. So whether it's student loan debt, business debt, credit card debt, mortgage debt, McCarthy is here to help. Visit McCarthyLawyer.com slash podcast or call 1-866-777-0748 and provide promo code POOPIES, all caps, for 50% off retainer fees. They'll also fix your credit report errors at no out-of-pocket cost to you. See you guys out there. So with the helicopter, dude, you, you showed me a clip of the water skiing behind the helicopter, and uh, I was happy to see that the helicopter like went up and got you like up in the air. But then it pilot came, sucked. Pilot then, sucked. Then it came down and put you back on the water. Boring. That was so boring, dude. What would have been the more exciting approach? I told him to whip me because I wanted okay. to go flying. Okay, but the pilot was all freaking. No, 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 no. Right when I showed up and I knew, I didn't know that was going to happen, but right when he started saying no, I was like, fuck this, dude. Like we came here, we rented the helicopter. I just want a couple requests. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he was like, well, we'll see. And I was like, dude, come on, just whip me. Like, and then there I wasn't, wasn't What does whip you look like? I don't even know. I've never even seen it, but I would want, this is my vision is to get whipped. Like, you know, whip when you go like, Say you're getting towed by something like a boat, right? Yeah. And they do a big turn. Yeah. And all that um, G-forces. Yeah. That's the whip. And then it goes... Whoop. So you wanted to be whipped while you were on the water or while you were in the air? In the air. Like water, air. Like w- kind of like do a couple spins and then just whoom. Right. Until I couldn't hang on anymore. 20 feet maybe up. I told him 15, 20, but I couldn't so shitty so i got to but it was cool dude it was cool i was hanging on the fucking thing dude it was sick all the boys were psyching the island was there we had these fucking drones that were right by us it was sick what um what what where was this island um it was in the keys oh yeah yeah okay yeah steve fucking rented it for a lot did you uh did you get any pussy while you were down there nope not one dude bro i was tripping dude it's all money people dude they like, you got to have money and shit, dude. I looked at all the chicks. I was like, dude, these chicks are all getting paid, dude, to hang out with these guys. Oh, yeah? I think so. Huh. I don't know, dude. And then you try to say hi or convo. It's just like, they're just on their phones or like doing something selfie or some shit. Like they won't give you the time of the day kind of thing. And then they didn't even put out? No, I wasn't really trying actually because I didn't want to freaking waste my time with chicks on this trip. Right. So I was like, I'm more dedicated to the content on this one because that's what it was about. Right, okay. So I, there were drunk chicks all over me, but I was I got a couple numbers, but I never like really sealed the deal. Did you um did you get any pussy since you got back? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you Went got to the a, old HK. What's HK? The old Hong Kong restaurant, Chinese restaurant. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, in Tijuana. Oh, okay. So you go yeah. to the restaurant, and then what? You're, uh, you got yeah. fresh Chinese food. So you go so to crap. you go to Tijuana to the Chinese restaurant, and you make love to your waitress. Yep. <laughs> okay. It's well, yeah. They like fall in love with you first, and then 
They serve you their food. Like, you get a couple of so, dishes. So it's... Um, and then if you like the waitress, you can, like, tell her to come eat with you. So this is a, uh, a whorehouse that you're talking mm, about. Do you want a whorehouse? No, it's a restaurant. Right. With Chinese food. It's kind of like in New Zealand. Yes, like, it's a whorehouse, uh, yeah. you got a massage parlor. Fuck yeah, it's a whorehouse. But you <laughs> Hey, Coburn? <laughs> no, it's a fucking whorehouse for real. But I mean, I was, trying like to, was... I was trying to be cool about a Chinese restaurant, but... Yeah. Dude, yeah, it was fun, dude. So right after Florida, because I seen all these hotties, dude. I was like, fucking having mood, mood, fucking mood swings. Because okay. I seen so many chicks, and it's like, dude, I'm in a movie. I'm cool as fuck. I kind of look good. Why can't I get puss? I'm hanging right. out with Steve, you know. Right. It was just weird. Once they see someone like me, they're like on like a a movie start kind of level. Yeah, they like they don't they like don't want to like look at you or something they like trip uh they're like because they know i don't know they just think that you're they're, 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 they're intimidated by you i don't know if they're intimidated i'm more intimidated by them intimidated right but i don't know it's weird it's it's a lot of bougie stuff we're in like brick brickle which is like miami and it's like a lot of bougie stuff you know you got to pull up in like good nice looking suit or car Right. Which I was with Steve, but we're just a bunch of kids, you know, so too grommed out for him. Uh, did, did it seem like Steve will do it was, was getting some posts? He has a girlfriend. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, he ha which is so cool because it's uh, his high school sweetheart. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm still trying to get my high school sweetheart back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude, maybe I got to become more famous or something. I don't know. Um, But chicks, there's been a lot. It's fucking been awesome. It's so all those times I never got laid with the boys at parties that now it's like I'm making up for it. Good. So um, you, you told me today we've had this scheduled for for quite a while. And then yeah. all of a sudden today you were like, dude, oh, yeah, I've dude. got this chick coming in from Mexico. Yeah. She's, she's coming from your you Chinese restaurant? No, she's not coming from the Chinese restaurant. No, she's actually a, a good, good girl. Uh -huh. She has a real job and everything. She doesn't work at the restaurant. So uh, she's a Mexican chick? Yeah, she's from Guadalajara. And she's flying in. Dude, I was trying to get her to bring Grom, my dog. Oh, yeah. And, but she's all like, I, I'm so stressed already. Like, I don't want to have to deal with Grom. And like, I was like, dude, fuck. But whatever, she's coming. But yeah. she could have, like, she could have just carried him on. But it's okay. I'm going to go back with her when she leaves and go get Grom and then come back. Okay. Because I got a dog now. Right. So I was trying to save this dog and I did. I pretty much did though. Like it's in a nice house right now. You know what's funny is I had the driver. So I went from Mexico to Shark Week, right? Straight yeah. from Pasquale. He's like, my shorts were and so what, dirty. Dude, the timing of that was so rad because it's like, here you just got these like bomb, huge, yeah, big Yeah, the waves, fucking vibe was there, dude. Toe in, like you're wearing so like sick. the fucking crazy big wave gear uh, yeah and like i was like i got a, I got freaking discovery picking me up at my shitty hotel so and, they're, and they're in mexico able, they're able to to show like poopies is back from his shark attack he's, he's yes. riding big waves yeah dude it's i don't i didn't even time it like that it just happened and right. it was fucking awesome dude because i didn't even know i was gonna get that water ski barrel i just this one morning i was like dude I asked the Mex the Mexi local that's like the janitor guy. Yeah. I was like, hey, have you seen my water skis? He's like, yeah, amigo, right in the back. I go, shut up. They're here. He goes, yeah. Dude, I fucking pulled those water skis out that next morning and told my friend Axel, hey, let's go. Because they're in the very back, dude, of like this fucked up old ass room in, in the back of this hotel. Spiders, fucking scorpions. Who, who knows what the fuck's in this room? And he's like, no, we have to pull out every board. So I was like, pro, there's like fucking 50, 100 boards in here. So, and I can see the ski, skis poking out because the boards are like four foot high, just stacked. I see the little skis poking out and um, go for it. I got to look for something. Yeah, I got you, Doug. I got it. This is my little drink right here. Oh, dude, my phone's um, right. I still got to pay my phone bill. Um, so, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Shittiest podcast so, ever. So you get picked up. So, you get picked up to fly well, to Shark Week. Yeah. And so, then in the airport, 
And that, you decide yeah. to get so loaded at the bar. Oh, you're bro. All, you're so oh, bro. drunk. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. We can so, get so you haven't even got to Shark dude, Week yet. Dude, You get bro. so drunk in the airport that you, like... I thought I was fucking you stumble King onto Kong the, Grom. You stumble onto the airplane with, like, speakers blaring. Like, JBL4 dude. was a little turned up. And and I you're and you're, and you're vaping, blowing, so you can't smoke on I know, airplanes. I know. I so I didn't like vape so, so in front want, of them. I wasn't like going down the aisles. I wasn't doing that. I know people have that image. Well, how else do you fucking vape on an airplane? I went like this. You know, I was on my phone. You were vaping on an airplane. And I freaking. Dude, you know how it's a habit sometimes. For- Do you know how that's not different? Yeah, but I ghosted. You know, like what you what you first tried to describe as yeah. as vaping, that what I you didn't do is actually what no, you did I vaped. do. I vaped. On the you plane. were vaping on the plane while blaring music on speakers. So like- dumb. I really like Steve O. He really knows how to get through to poops. While you're d- drunk and and clearly too intoxicated so to be allowed on an airplane, and that's how you're gonna show up to Shark Week. That's how, like, like they should have kicked you off that airplane and arrested you and fined you and like, had they yeah, done that, they're, they're you were cool. you were you were basically begging them to kick you off the plane, arrest you, fine you, and then in that scenario, you don't even get to Shark Week. Yeah, that would be. What fucked. happens? Like, I know, dude. I, I mean, got dude, lucky, you, 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 you well. I, I got mean, lucky, dude. I know. I was like, "Fuck!" And then I like, I and then what happened it. at Shark Week with like where you didn't have a, a credit card to put down on your room, and so yep. they put the credit card finally down, found my card, and and you you uh, you tell them Shauna um, helped me out. She's a legend. I, and and you were like, you had one job, which was to not spend. keep my limit at five hundred. And 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 you didn't it went do over that three two eighty or something, yeah. But you know what's funny? There's not that. Not that. Yeah, that was whack. I know. Between being loaded on the airplane Yeah, I know. That was like, whack, steve I'm so sorry, dude. I mean, it'd be sorry to me. Well, it's just I, like... Well, you got to hear about it, and I don't want to hear... I don't like that news getting to to you. You know, that's bad I news. mean, it, it's not like my opinion that matters so much. It's just that like... How dumb you, I am. You... you, you you, I know, you, dude. I was like, Fuck. like closing doors I, on yourself, I like know. that. That's just the try to be. I, I love you. I want the best thing to happen to you. And when you're, I like, didn't mean for her to see me vape. And and when you're, I uh, wasn't. Yeah, I was fucked. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> when, when when you're blowing it like that, yeah, I was blowing it. It's uh, it's it's damaging your relationship with everyone, like the 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 the, the, the jackass family that you know, like yeah. And, uh, you know, it's like... I was just getting too comfortable, I think, and just, like, being stupid poopy. Yeah. Like, I'm, oh, yeah, we got this. I'm killing it. Like, no, you're not killing it, Grom. You're broke, and you look like a retard. Wow. Well, I know. I fucking thought about it, dude. I was like, fuck. Because Pontius wasn't too stoked. No one was stoked on it. And I really realized, I thought, dude, that, that is a big deal, you know? I was like, oh, it's not a big deal. And I was like, fuck, dude, that is a big deal, poops. And I was like, fuck, dude. It kind of, I was stressing for a while. Shark Week was like, cool, but I wish I never would have done that because I got put in, wait, like, wait, wait. I got like put in like Grom fucking status now. Like, I don't get the respect I, I did, which sucks, but. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's. But, uh... Yeah, all I gotta do is just fucking learn from it and not do it again and, Make sure that happens and fucking keep killing it. Yeah, well, not that way though. Um, the uh, yeah, I was bummed on that, dude. Fucking fuck, dude. What 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 happened with that? Uh, you said that you were doing a, 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 a you said you were doing a TV show with, with yeah something, and that they bought it, but like well, way- we had it sold to Roku. Uh-huh. We had it sold to Roku for fucking six mil a whole season, and then so, some but, new- but sold what. A season of what not to do right, right, my tv okay. show okay so we had and and so you never made a pilot or, or oh yeah we we didn't have a pilot they wanted it the guy was cool the guy knew my uh, producer their friends yeah and then like that month dude they fucking the guy got fired and they brought someone new in and the guy who they brought in like didn't like my like style like 
he's like, oh, I don't really like science and I don't really like fuck with jackass, you know, and then he just said nay. So that got shut down. Yeah. But we had it, dude. We had it, dude. But the guy fucking somehow didn't work out. Everything happens for a reason, I guess. But we got it sold to Discovery Plus now. Are you with the same show? Yep. So we're working with Discovery Plus, which is fucking, I'm so blessed. I'm so stoked. And and this is the show, uh, What Not To Do. Yep, What Not To Do. And you're invited on every stunt I do. And if you want to, if you want to chime in and freaking, t- you know, t- teach me the ways, freaking, I'd be psyched. And yeah, so it's going to be like, we do once. So every episode, there's one big stunt, you know, and I brought in, so I got a little crew. I made my crew. Did, do you uh, ha- have a time when you're going to be filming it? Is it like planned well, out? Well, they were saying I was going to be fil- start filming at the end of this month, but um got pushed to the middle of August. Oh. Huh. So we start middle of August. Trip, it's the trip's same. part of it. Yeah, right, right. That's yeah, yeah, the same shit, same shit. All right. Same show. I'm psyched, but. Yeah, I'm excited. I've just been thinking about that like this last like two months. What what have you filmed for it to show Discovery <laughs> what it what it is? Uh nothing. Oh uh, nothing. <clears throat> so it if my understanding of um how this stuff works is um accurate, then what you would be talking about shooting at the middle of August is not actually the series, but it would actually be yeah. It would be the the material. It's the first episode because mm, not the first episode. It's uh, you know. But what if they they executives like this? Yeah, they, they gotta not, say yay or nay, right? For sure. So it used we got back good, in the day. Back uh-huh. in the day, you used to film a pilot episode, yeah. but that became a little bit um, economically. Um, unreasonable because people would be putting these huge budgets into pilots which were set apart and didn't really fit into a a series so all the money spent on the pilot was ultimately squandered and so they kind of like my gd test they stopped doing pilots so much as just creating materials to to demonstrate what the show is yeah because executives are not gonna Spend like, all that money and Spend shit. all the money yeah. on a whole series when they don't even know what, yeah. it, what it is or what it looks they like. They don't even know if people are going to like it. So the, so, so the position that it sounds like you're in is that they perhaps have given a modest budget to film materials to show them what it is you're trying to make. Yep. For, I'm which sure is th- not, which is very different from having yeah. a series ordered. Yeah, these guys, you know Hollywood business, they tell you something and it's the whole, total opposite. So that's what I've been learning too. You can't trust anyone, and like in this business, what's going on? I got on? an entertainment lawyer now, so I'm yeah, sorry. I was gonna say what's going on with your representation. Chad's cool as fuck, but I was Who's like, Chad, Chad, uh, he's my agent. Was he that- just switched from ICM to um, Naroge or something. I don't know, right? Because ICM, yeah, just, something weird uh, mer- happened. They merged with CAA. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if that's official yet. Something ha- so they did merge, so he was working with CAA and ICM, and then they did some weird ultimatum, and he's like, "Nah, I'm good." This is all some boring Hollywood mumbo jumbo, but I assume some of you like to see how the sausage is made. All right. So, so now he's got his. Uh, he found another. Um, how do you say it? Like a agency. Agency, yeah. So he's working what's for it them. called? And it's called. Uh, let me see. If we're really peeling back the curtains to show people like the yeah. I got a lot on the my inner, plate, dude. the inner workings of the entertainment industry. Yeah, see, it's not no yet. holds barred. And who who would know better? And but you, like seriously, like that fucking... is over here just dropping names. <laughs> the the agents, the producers, oh, yeah, just fuck, putting yeah. people on blast. It's cool. Well, I don't know. <laughs> is it? I don't know. <laughs> fuck if they're fucking. <laughs> I'm just telling you how it is, though. Right, yeah. Like, that's what happened. Exactly. It's life, you know, fuck. Shit happens, Bill. Yeah. I got a lot of messages. Dude, I'm trying. I so fried, bro. I told my filmers to um, email my team to get this vlog edited for tomorrow. Who's your filmers? So, you know, on this Florida trip, I had Scummy showed up. 
Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so yeah. I had Scummy film. He was fucking, I was like, dude, you don't have to if you don't want to. He's like, bro, I'm going to film. I was like, fuck yeah, thank you, dude. Scummy was probably pretty stoked. Dude, he was he so had. pumped, dude. He was, I could see it, dude. I had him stay the night at my suite one night and we had fun. It was sick. So he was filming and um, yeah, I got Scummy filming and then their guys, uh, Steve's filmer and um, Bradley's filmer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I sent them the wrong um, email to send to all the footage. So oh, you sent them the wrong email. Uh huh. Instead of dot com, it's dot co. Uh, okay. I mean, fuck, dude. Dot co and dot com. Like, I right. didn't know it's dot co, bro. Yeah, that's not cool, man. I know. I was like, you guys need. I told my team, hey, you guys need to really change that. He goes, yeah, when you change that. I was like, yeah, write that down, bro. So you got all this Dummy footage. Just text me. Oh, sorry, go ahead. You see, you don't have all the footage for your vlog? Yeah, I got to get it like right now. <sighs> but I'm with you, so. Scummy Steve- texted me. He said, sorry, sorry, Steve. That's what I put in. What? Scummy said that's what he put in. Or did it go through? See, and then they're all not at home. So now they got to wait till we they get home and then fuck me. Yeah, I did. Bitch, darn it. Hey guys, I know it can be really difficult to manage your debt, especially when you're constantly receiving new offers for more credit cards or unsecured loans with huge interest rates. Instead of adding to your problem and creating more stress and cost, our friends at McCarthy Law can help. They truly care about helping you erase your debt and restoring your credit card so you can get your life back. To begin decreasing your debt and your stress, visit McCarthyLawyer.com slash podcast or call 1-866-777-0748 and provide promo code POOPIES, all capitals, to receive 50% off McCarthy's retainer fee. McCarthy Law isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. They're not one of the countless companies offering magic solutions that seem too good to be true. They're a real law firm, able to help you negotiate debt for a fraction of what you owe. To date, no creditor has refused to deal with McCarthy Lawyer. That's a huge advantage over other non-lawyer-based companies. And maybe most importantly, McCarthy always seeks to charge less than anyone else in the industry, including non-lawyer debt settlement companies. And yes, they will price match. So whether it's student loan debt, business debt, credit card debt, mortgage debt, McCarthy is here to help. Visit McCarthyLawyer.com slash podcast or call 1-866-777-0748 and provide promo code POOPIES, all caps, for 50% off retainer fees. They'll also fix your credit report errors at no out-of-pocket cost to you. See you guys out there. So how um, like long do does a normal Poopies podcast run for? Um, what are we at? Five thirty-eight. We can go for like for as long as you want. Oh, okay. As long as he wants, I, he probably didn't want to show up to this shit. <laughs> I'll sit all day. I'll sit all day with you, Steve. I talk. mean, fucking, let's go. We got that covered. Yep, <laughs> we could be here. I go to bed at like twelve. I mean, hey, we've checked that box. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, dude. But last time we fucking our your pod, your podcast was at like freaking two a.m. We did it, I think. Um. Yeah, we we hit it hard, man. Fuck yeah, two shows and then the podcast. Yeah. When you said it, said it like that, I was like, fuck yeah. I was like, yep. And I was told everyone, yeah, we did two shows and a podcast. And it was right. fun. I yeah. saw, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say um, that uh, our podcast was, was successful. Yeah, right? it was, like, dude. Uh, I think it was good. I, I felt bad. I it felt, was huge success. I, I felt bad. And I said, I know I got um, some criticism and I, and I, I legitimately feel that I deserve the criticism, even though Who I wasn't. You? Um, I, when I had you on my podcast, I started off like, uh, I basically, I was like, so dude, like, so like, you're dumb. You uh, know, like you're like oh, actually yeah, dumb. Whatever, you know, dude. and, uh, and it, it was, um, I, I wasn't trying to be like mean or anything. I'm, I'm not even sure if I was trying to be funny or anything, but like, 
there's uh you're trying to make you're trying to just like it's just, just it, trying to make the dumb look smart no oh, okay. it just it wasn't appropriate <laughs> for me to start like that and i think that what oh, i Steve, I think, oh, it's fine dude I think, trust me i think what i meant to articulate somehow is that there's this persona about you you know there's this like this lovable sort of dumbness you know mm -hmm. about you that's kind of like your mystique and um i have my own ways of things you know i don't know yeah and like you know when you say dumb stuff it's just hilarious like you know like and i, I don't know i just think that the coming out of the thank gate thank you thank you Steve. coming out of the gate saying that with you on my podcast it like it, it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, and they it, they were right. Really, they were right. Shut to be up. It was, Shut up. It was it was just, it was a shitty way to start. Oh, so dude, I want no, to acknowledge. Okay. I want to acknowledge that 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 I don't feel good about that. I want to okay. acknowledge well, that that was no way well, to talk to you. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, hey, you're my elder, dude. You can well, you I can mean, treat hey, me dude. however you want, dude. Nah. I'm I'm a jackass grom, dude. You're jackass it, OG. So it's it, it, I mean it's all good. I, like uh, I, I thank you for I, saying that. I, I felt bad. I I feel bad about that. Don't feel bad. Now I am dumb. As we I do uh, dumb things. Yeah, at, we that makes do, me we dumb. Have, we all do dumb things. Mm, yeah, we're not dumb people. We just do okay, dumb okay, things. Okay, okay, I like that. Um, we uh, so. so on our on when you were on my podcast, mm -hmm. we, we we got pretty candid about your financial situation, and I thought that that was, uh, you know, it, it it was very humanizing. Um, I, I thought that it, it served to get people rooting for you. Yeah. You know, we were promoting your cameo. We were promoting your yep. merch. My platform. Like, um, for sure, dude. That's what's up. I think that's what podcasts are for, like to come on, show your platforms and hang out and be transparent. To, and and trans I thought it was very yeah. humanizing and, and, and I felt good about what's it. What's that mean? Humanizing. It made you uh, feel good about yourself. It, it, it like made, doing good it, for others it made you a person that people care about yeah i like that dude and um Fuck yeah and, and, and there there was no issue about that however um after that i had a a, a random call from my buddy burt kreischer Burt Kreischer, who Legend. has a uh, legendary comic. So funny. He's got a, a humongous podcast with another legendary comic, Tom Segura, called Two Bears in One Cave. Now, they had just watched Jackass Forever. They were raving about it. They were in the middle of recording their podcast. And they're like, oh, screw it. Let's call Steve-O. So they call me. And, and I'm not prepared. They're like, they just call me out of nowhere. I pick up the phone, and they're on their podcast. And they're raving about the... You know the movie, the new guys, and, and I had just had you on my podcast, Ooh. so it was like really, okay, the timing and, was perfect again. Well, right, I, they uh, and I was like, you know, dudes, like I agree with you. The new guys are epic. The movie's awesome. And I was like, you know, what's so crazy? I just had poopies on my podcast, and he was explaining that, like, you know, that he's broke. He can't afford to put gas in his car, and uh, it's just so crazy to me. And um. A couple of things happened there. Now, I didn't say this in any kind of uh, a way to, to, to make anybody feel bad. It was just like, isn't it crazy that this is the reality? Mm -hmm. Yeah, COVID sucked. Right. And um, and the it first, was a reality. When, 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 when that podcast came out, somebody in our jackass family reached out to me. They were very upset with me. They said, why are you talking? Why you got to air out other people's financial problems oh, really? on a podcast you know they yeah, said yeah they said they said you didn't have to do that they were these guys were raving about the movie they were excited you know like and then, and then, pissed at me? no 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 that's not what i'm just they, 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 this person was pissed at me they okay. said why, why you gotta you know air this out they mm -hmm. said uh you know they said they hear these guys were so excited about the movie and you just sucked all the oxygen out of the conversation killed the good vibes and made it all a big bummer and like and, and and we're at a point where we should this is what the, they said to me we're at a point where we should be trying to lift people up not kick them down and i was like bro lift I, me I, up I, I i said i i was like i said dude um i what i was doing was 
the opposite help of what you're, you're talking helping. about doing. You know, yeah. you know, I was like, I wasn't trying to kick anybody down at all. You're just you letting know? the people know. I'm like, I, I was like, dude, I'm like, I'm trying to get people rooting for poopies yeah. to, to get to 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 li lift him up. You yeah, because yeah, and it, like, it, and, I was broke, dude. And and he, and here's here's what this person's saying is. Uh, they were so excited about the movie. I was, oh, oh, okay. So, so, like, if I understand this this correctly, what what this person is suggesting that I should have said nothing to kill the vibe. Did we have a vibe going on this episode? Is it is it killed? Just checking. Wait, wait until there. All the excitement has passed. Wait until it's all like. Wait until nobody's even yep, thinking they, about yeah, checking. They forget and about then, me. and then I can, then I can speak up into a black hole so yeah, that nobody no can, can hear, hear it. And and like no, yeah, no, dude, that's you know? why I fucking and, love you. Dude. And then and then what? And then what? What? What happened as well? Right when that podcast came out. Right when this person was was uh, giving me such a hard time, like you hear from steve will do it and i'm like dude i hit him up i said dude fucking thanks Bro, so much yeah. i said i said thanks so much for reaching out yeah, to poopies he told me, yeah, yeah. i said thanks so much for reaching out to poopies it, he's so stoked it means Bless so you. much thank you and and steve will do it told me he said i heard you on two bears in one cave I heard he said it broke my heart to hear that that Poopies was having financial trouble and that he couldn't like get gas. And he said, "I just wanted, I just want to get behind him. I want to help him out." And, and like, next thing you know, We're he's getting, he's flying getting, you out to go yeah, fuck around with helicopters yeah. and be in dope videos Bro, and like. And I'm like, you know, I just want to, I'm not going to name the person who was giving me a hard time. And yeah. I know that they were coming from a good place. So I'm not like upset with them. It's just, I believe a simple fact that they had it so wrong. They had my, Bro, yeah. they had my intentions wrong. They had the reality of the situation wrong. And the fucking fact is that because I spoke up about that, because like I, 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 sought to get people rooting for you behind you yeah. helping you next thing you know like one of the greatest things that ever happened to you happened because i said that on the two that's what started it. yeah that's what started the whole thing so like i i i, and I, I want to just run with it i love youtube yeah i, I want to i just want to acknowledge that that i wish i i um hadn't started the podcast that i had you on so clumsily and and uh you know just like effectively insulting you the first thing even though i didn't mean to you didn't insult me dude. i didn't mean to make you feel bad people or anything, just but people just assume I, shit bro i i uh people assume shit i thought p i thought i thought it was correct for people to for criticize sure, me dude. in that way um life's a struggle dude you gotta you know tell the right. people how the struggle is dude because right. if you dance, I, if you I, dance I around bad. that, bro, then it's like fake as fuck. I, I felt bad about that, but um, but but as, as for the rest of it, man, like <laughs> I, I, you know, that's another thing I told this this guy who was giving <laughs> me a hard time. I was like, hey, dude, like for better or for worse, like I just speak the truth, man. Like yeah. I call, I call it the way I see it. Like if I say, you know. Like that's, it's a, it's a benefit of not lying that you never have to keep track of what fucking bullshit lies you said. I don't ever have to keep track of yep. shit because I always say lie, the truth. It's just right. a clean path. I don't have to keep track of anything. once you lie, then you got to lie about that lie. Right. And then cover that up. Exactly. And then you're fucking, fucking lost. So I'm, I'm. You're, get, you're, you're fucked. You know, they're like, you're fucking, they, we know you're lying. I, I, I may very frequently say far too much but i don't ever fucking lie yes <laughs> so, yep. you know well dude yeah I mean, like, <laughs> I mean yeah the subject came up and that's what it was so like, for better or for worse you man, asked like, me a question uh, and it, that's why we're here to answer questions right i'm gonna tell you my an my but, but truth answer now that we're uh you know, now that we've, you know, and, and dude, I, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, you're all, the man, bro. I'm always, I you. always rooting for you. I always want to be a big brother to you. I want, you that, are. That, that, that was the I other feel thing. like you are my big brother, dude. 
That's the other thing. I'm talking, wait, wait, hold. Did we got to lift people up, not kick them down? Dude, what I'm, the not, fuck, I'm not dude? kicking, I'm not, I'm not kicking anybody down. Bro, I was down. getting some weird trips too when I was with Steve. I'm like, dude, I'm not kicking anybody down, dude. I've got these, like, the, all the new guys. I'm like helping them with their, yeah, with their digital operations, helping them create merch, content, websites, like, helping get everything. their fucking merch designs yeah, done for so free, much for me. Done bringing so them on much. tour and fucking having them open my shows no for one me. Else is doing that bro yeah for real dude i love you so I'm much for that. i love you too no, and when you got bit by the shark and, uh, and yeah uh, dude. And and you, no one was even like you're going through all that everyone I, was just kind of just dude, like I was, what do we dude, do and i was Steve was like we know i know what to do poopies we're gonna get this fucking posted i go fuck i was yeah. like dude i said i said the, i said the only fucking no. tragedy that can come out of this shark attack is if the footage gets buried mm -hmm. the footage cannot be buried no way <laughs> This footage, this footage will make Poopy's a legend and it needs to come out. And sure enough, it did come out, but I knew that it was going to come out in like a somewhat watered down, like sugar Lolly goggy fucking, you know, oh like, yeah, this was it. Like it wouldn't and, even show my bite or my jump. They're like, and, and I, well, no, I mean, they, they, they showed more no, than they, I thought they, they did. Yeah, they, they did. showed more than I thought they I was stoked they when they showed the part of me swimming with my hand off. Yeah, they, they they showed more than I thought they they would. Yeah, and then it but, showed the thing fall off. But 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 and and what what, do you, what can you expect from them? You know what can you expect? Yeah, from them? I mean but the reality, to... the reality that you had severed arteries and mm -hmm. tendons that needed to be reattached. That, How do you yeah. reattach severed arteries? I don't even understand. Like Bro. the whole severity. What do they use? It. Like do they use like little fishing wire? I know. Like, like I don't. I don't like understand. Like Velcro, super glue. The but the but the, 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 the gravity of it, the severity of yeah, it, like these was tiny like, little was, muscle jello muscles was but, not conveyed. And and I I was like, dude. It was important to me that you be able to tell the story really like, you know, for, for what it was, like the, mm -hmm. how, how serious it was. And, um, dude, yeah. I, and I did some, I did some, some, some arguably shady shit, man, by, by reaching out directly to people who I knew had, had the, footage. the raw footage yeah. completely unedited. Chris, of, yeah. Chris and Zach uh, and Steve. No, I'm just joking. Um, I, 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 like, uh, I, you know. Yeah, dude, you did so we much don't, for me. We don't need to dude, name, we don't wait, need to name yeah, anybody. Yeah, Chris, Steve, and Zach. That's, like, wait, normal names. We don't, and, we, like, I'm not even going to name anybody who, who, uh, was the source of the raw footage of your attack. no, we're no snitches. But, but, uh. Thank but you did for I, sending I, that. Not only did I get the raw footage of the attack to be able to show it all. Dude, I, I was tripping when you got that. I was like, I, yes. I went and uh, I remember your phone call. You're like, poops. Dude, I got, I got, I think we got dude, the footage I got, for I you. got, I got all of the footage for you. And Fuck then, yeah. and then I wanted to put together the video of telling the story of, of your attack, like from yep. your, like the real deal. You fucking went around and, LA, dude, dude and getting one day, interviews. And one day I one went, day I, dr it. I drove all the way to Malibu and got Knoxville. I went to Burbank, got Tremaine. Dude, I went to downtown LA, got Jasper. Dude, when I found that out, I was like, dude, Steve-O's got my fucking dude, back. I, I, drove I was like, dude, I never thought, like, I never thought, like, I when I really, like, thought, like, of being on the crew and, like, meeting you guys, I thought you guys would be like, fuck, whatever, Gom, you know, like, I don't know, you know what I mean? Cause, dude, I went, I went. But, dude, yeah, Steve-O, like when, when Steve-O fucking took me in, bro, I was like, you're fucking i love you so much like no one does that for me like no that, one's ever done that for me it was it, it was, it was I, I was pretty proud of myself for getting all of those interviews shot myself all in one day driving all over los angeles county and then what and then once we had all that once we had the footage of the attack and all the interviews with everybody who was there uh knoxville wasn't even there but we got him uh got his Talking interview as well it, yeah. yeah like then he said i'm gonna get a bunch of chicks and shit then, then you were then you were ready to to put the video together and and dude power to your homeboy Jack because he did a fucking killer Jack, job. Putting I think that Jack together. and Paul, your guy Paul helped too. Yeah, Paul Brisky. Uh -huh. And dude, 
if anybody Jack's hasn't, boy. if anybody hasn't said, that's why that video has 1.6 million views on your dog shit channel with, <laughs> with, 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 <laughs> with, yeah. with, uh, oh, yeah. with that thumbnail, <laughs> with yeah. that thumbnail, that dude, that thumb, that's, Bro. The, that's the, the thumbnail on that $1.6 million, it's 1.6 million view yeah. YouTube video is that's a thumbnail that you make if you're trying to like hide the video. <laughs> it's yeah. like, I got to take, like you can't, I I mean, dude, that was the worst. It should have been like my hand, like off. I mean, whatever, dude. That that might. I know that was like. But whatever, dude. You got one. I'm learning. I'm learning. You got 1.6 million views. 1.6 million. And and if if anybody listening to this has not seen that video, I mean, for God's sake, man! Like when you're telling that story, and you start crying, like sucks. I mean, it's the most emotionally impactful footage like wow. you can just feel it like and and they i was waiting there's, there's, to, no, there's nothing that sucks about that there's i was nothing, like waiting to express that though i was like there's nothing that sucks about that and and it's so real like it's so vulnerable and it's just so honest and like you're on camera and like you just like you just it's my true feelings you, you, i was just like could, i gotta exp i gotta tell them how i feel it would have been impossible for you to manufacture that and putting the footage of you being so emotional telling the story of your attack all cut together with the the full footage of the attack with knoxville tremaine me and jasper like I that's mean, rare, dude. dude. That's that, a banger. That's that, called a banger. That's, that's the most powerful video, and um, and, and it was it was really really. Thank important. you for doing that for me, dude. Yeah, it was important as hell like, to me real. that you. Uh, I was tripping. You went all, you went around L.A. and fucking took your time out of your day, and I know you got a lot of shit going on for me to take time for me and get that video out. I was like fucking psyched. Yeah, dude. And I the love, leather jacket. I, I got the leather jacket. I wear. Oh, and um. I was talking some shit about you. It's um, okay. I, I, I fucking was being a Daryl. No, no. It was uh it was just having having fun. Well, yeah, but, but I had was... I had Rachel Wolfson on my podcast oh, like uh what like last last week. Like oh, one, fuck one week yeah. ago. Sick. And um we She's were talking cool. we were talking about um the jackass the jackass cast thread with like all oh, like yeah, I'm 13, always getting and shit, yeah. Thirteen people. Mm -hmm. And and uh and, and I criticized you on my podcast while talking to Rachel. I criticized you for um, barraging the cast thread with uh, oh, yeah. with with with, with, with maybe with maybe a little bit too much stuff that's not quite always worth everybody's attention. Uh, I didn't even know, dude. So I, I said, 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 said maybe you got to just bump up the caliber. Of what you're dropping in there you now, yeah, because sometimes it's like, it's like yeah, you had like some what's caliber, caliber, the quality, the okay, like yeah, the, the, quality. the level, mm -hmm. the intensity. Yeah, because the YouTube dude, there's freaking the value. People like got a, reds and shit, dude. I'm like, got my iPhone I, and a fucking. No, nah, I know, but dude, like when you're showing, like when you're texting everybody, like footage of like the some Roman fireworks. The, the, but yeah, you, so you weren't I even in frame. About that. You weren't even in frame. Did you like that or no? Did you send a video of nothing? I had to get these filmers that never filmed before, because that's all I had. All right, I'm just, I'm just, I, know, saying, I'm, I just want, I want. This to, one was a struggle for me, dude. I was. Like, I want to, I want to acknowledge. I got to talk about that though. I, I want to acknowledge that I was talking a little bit of shit about you, but yeah. but, that, but it was, it was. I know. I was it, like, like focus in and out, focus in so, and out. But I'm like, with, what the fuck? Like the the jackass I mean, cast thread. There's 13 people. The entire fucking cast. You got Knoxville, Tremaine, Shauna, all of the cast. It's like a big group thing. Yeah, mine's one and person because like, no one knows about YouTube. They don't care about filming it. They wow. just want to light the fucking fire and see like, it. Just, just so just, I gotta make sure it's all running smoothly. Just, just, I just want you to increase your standards. Okay, increase your standards for what you send into the. the oh, group okay, text. okay. There you go. Send I in, will send in better shit. I just okay. Did you, yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, though, did you like? Did you like the Roman candle idea, though? I mean, I, I did that twenty years ago. I know, <laughs> but you know what's funny is like I didn't even know. Like, I didn't know you. Like, I no, you put shit in your butt. I'm sure you fucking put huge Roman candles in your butt. But dude, I fucking I had this idea when I I was like in my bed and I seen dude, the, I, I, I seen had... the pointy plastic thing. 
And I was like, bro. Dude, I, and I, that's I, when like came together. And I was like, fuck, I, you probably had the same vision. Dude, I had people shoot Roman candles at my butt and I caught one of the fireballs in between Shut my butt cheeks. Fuck. Jumped up and down three uh, times with it held in between my fuck, butt cheeks. Dude, I wish I was there for that one. Dude, it's on footage, dude. Bro, it's epic. I gotta type that in. All right, man. Hey, any any uh, sh- uh shout outs? I'm gonna do some shout outs. Go sub oh sorry. Go subscribe to Steve O's YouTube. Um check his uh website out, Stevo.com. Dude, this guy is fucking the legend, dude. Like, fucking my boy. And thank you so much for coming. Yeah, dude. And we'll see you guys next time. The shittiest podcast ever is getting a little better, Bill. Fuck yeah. All right. Love you guys. Love you too, Steve-O. Well, did you guys enjoy that? Was that what you wanted? We want to thank Steve-O for coming on and keeping it real. I hope it wasn't too real for you folks. Hang in there. We'll be back next week. Until then, stay shitty. The Shittiest Podcast is produced by the world's worst people. Tyler Nielsen, Brian Tillotson, Frank Driscoll, and narrated by me, the narrator. Special thanks to the Straw Hut team.